Good morning. This is Wednesday, April the 10th, 2019, and it is 10.43 a.m. Wednesday morning. And this is my baby. This is my baby. This is Buttercup. And he is one year old. And he's going to have surgery uh, next month. He's going to get fixed. And he's trying to bite me. And he's a little stinker at times. So, say hi, Buttercup. Say hi. He's my baby. I got him from a family that had a whole bunch of, the family had cats and the cats had uh, babies. And this is one of them that I got after I lost my beloved railroad. And I'm having a bad hair day. So I'm wearing my Mayberry Sheriff hat, which I got from a police officer that worked in my town. <coughs> and he had a uh, Mayberry Sheriff store. And I got this hat, which I've had for ages. And I got two coffee mugs and a t-shirt. <coughs> and I am drinking all my favorite coffee mug and a courier <coughs> Now since I'm talking I'm gonna start coughing. This is courier and Ives and it's winter morning eighteen fifty four. And I'm going to dump it if I don't watch what I'm doing here. I love this coffee mug. And I don't ask me where I got this from. Because I've had it for ages. Um, this is black tube number 13. And this is like the third time I have started on this. So hopefully the third time is a charm, you know. Um... I have a finish, I have a whip, and I'm going to show you my new start, and I'm going to show you my book that I'm currently reading. So, my finish is, it's a polar bargain design, and it's called Beloved Rosa Sharon. Oh. And I'm going to try to put it back so you can see, and then I'll do the close up. But here is and I did this on 28 count. I flew Lugana 2 over 2 DMT threads. And I'm going to try to bring an air closer so you can see what it looks like. And I'll probably have to hide my face. I started this on August the 10th, 2017. And I finished it this morning, Wednesday, April the 10th, 2019. So it took me exactly two years from start to finish, and I took three breaks from it. And I am so glad, so glad I got this done. There's a book to be for a friend of mine that she really, really wanted it. And so I'm going to have her buy it from me after I got it done, because I was not going to give this away for free. Too much work. And so, about two, three, about three, three, four months ago, she changed her mind and she didn't want it anymore. So, I am keeping this. I'm going to take it to my L and S. And I am going to have them frame it for me. And then when I get it back from them, then I am going to hang it in my craft room. So this is done! I am so happy!
you don't know how happy I am to have this done. Because if you know anything about poor bargain patterns, there are tons and tons and tons of cord stitches, tons of back stitching, and the cord the cord stitches, you know, they they're very hard to do. If you know anything about poor bargain, you know what I'm talking about. And this might be, I don't know, I, I got a whole bunch of patterns of hers. And the this one came from Polar Boggins Quilts from the Garden, book number 76. So if you want the pattern, that's where you can get the pattern from. And I got all of her pattern books. I got all of her pattern leaflets, charts. And... The wisdom, the charts themselves are not that hard to do. But, um, uh, what a cup. Excuse me while I take my cat away. And so, I'll probably do, you know, I'll probably just more of her pattern later on. But not from the, um, uh, from the garden book because they they it's just way too hard my whip that I'm gonna finish up next is a uh, let me find the pattern. I mean, the, I don't know why I keep getting pattern for it. Let me find the picture of it. And it's called uh, Little House Needleworks. <clears throat> uh, Little House Chart Number 86. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, my note is just, I have changed some of the colors on this. I changed the color of the house to blue. <coughs> <I've, coughs> excuse me. I've changed the roof on the house to red. I've changed the pumpkins, the pumpkin color to a brighter orange. I've changed the grass area to a brighter green. And when I get, um, when I get this finished, I will give you the color changes numbers excuse me while I chase my cat away excuse me he's doing something he's not supposed to be doing it and trying to keep him out of this room Ugh. but anyway so I'm gonna give you the number the number that I used on this when I get it completely completely done. Um, I use all DMC threads and this is 14 count Ada. And I kind of wish I was doing this on uh, 28 count but that's okay. I do like 14 but my preference is 28 count. I'm going to be stretching from a hoop to a uh, to uh, Q snaps. So now I got one free. And I do love my Q snaps. I don't want that pattern in there. So that's this is my um, everyday rip. 
That's the only thing that I'm gonna be working on. Okay, now my start that I'm dying to start. No, this is a is a TV one thing. Get my chair in the right place. Okay, my new start. Now I want to start and by Jordan Pride and it's A B C D E S M A I S O N S. And here's what it's going to look like. And I love this pattern. And it's easy. Cause I uh Pumpkin Hollow Farm, this one and another one is gonna be the next three that I'm gonna be working on from start to finish to give myself a break from working on difficult patterns. Because I need that break. And my I need that break. So I'm gonna be doing this on 28 count and I and I'll probably pick like a light pan or a pretty tan colored fabric so all the colors will show up including the white and I got this from my LNS so this is going to be my new card and I'm going to go Thursday to, to my LNS and get the fabric and uh, probably the threads and I, I'm just going to be using DMT threads and I'll be doing this on 28 count fabric so that's going to be my new fur coming this weekend and see what finish neutral okay now the book that I'm reading from the library and they just you know I just love it when the librarians put their um, barcode tag on the front of the book and covers up part of the title of the book yeah I just love this uh, the name of the book is called One Book in the Grave, A First Edition Fairy Tale May Lead to a Grim Ending. And and the author is Kate Carlisle. Which I love her books. And this is what the book looks like. So this is the book that I got from my library. And I got it through the Evergreen Library System. So, I think that's about it. Um, I want to thank all of you for returning to my and you know and watching my videos. I want to thank all of the new subscribers. I want to thank the Black Tube uh, community. And I just love all of you, and I love the BlockTube community because we can help each other. We can, you know, um, I can't think of the name of it, um, where we try to talk, you know, other BlockTubers and buying this and buying that, tart, you know, threads and so on. And, you know, I just love everything about the BlockTube community and I appreciate it so very much and I have learned so much from watching other people's blog tube videos and it helps me out it buttons up my day and it gives me encouragement and you know I just can't thank the blog tube community enough um I watch a lot and lots of blog tubers and I get my inspiration from all of you and 
that means a lot to me and we support each other we pray for each other we give encouragement to one another and that means a world to me and I want to thank you all so very much um, in case I haven't said this is fly to number 13 and starting as of today I'm going to be making a video every Wednesday morning so be on the lookout and I want to thank my 177 subscribers thank you thank you thank you and I'm hoping that I can get more more subscribers but if not that's okay too um I just love making videos. They're, they're fun to make and I can goof off in the video, you know, and have lots of fun. And one of my favorite um, flash tubers is Christine from Just, Just Other Things. I think that's the name of her flash tube. And and she is so funny. She cracked me up. She is hilarious. And here comes Buttercup again. So, and he's getting on his throne. And he wants to look out the window. And I do have a few windows open. Uh, we're supposed to get rain starting today through tomorrow. And, but that's okay. It's better than snow. I do not want no snow. Well, since this has gone on for 16 minutes now, um, I think that's it. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. I will see you next Wednesday morning and my next Wednesday in my next video. And like I said, every Wednesday I will be making videos. So I will, next Wednesday, when I make the video, I will be showing my progress on Pumpkin Hollow Farm and my new start on the Jordan Pride Peace Project. And that will be all for now. See you next Wednesday, my next video. Take care of yourselves and be happy and get lots of stitching done and reading if you like to read. See you in my next video. Bye!